Today, I'm heading out to the bridges here in Dunedin, Florida to try to use some big baits to catch some big fish. Alrighty, good morning everyone. We're out here on the kayak again. We're gonna be dropping some a little bit bigger baits over at the bridge, which I'm kind of excited for when it gets cold. You got a pretty good chance of getting a few decent things. But kind of while we get over there, I want to throw the swim bait around to see if we can pick up anything, like a trout maybe, see what we can do. This is the spot I really like to be, but I don't think we're going to be able to do it since it's so wavy right here. We seem to be holding our spot pretty good, so I guess we could try some bait. Sadly, the bait's frozen still, which I'm not a huge fan of. I feel like it kind of makes it a little weird. Also makes my fingies cold. Oh, oh, yep, yep, oh yeah, oh no. Are you kidding me? You got broke off instantly? Oh, snap. All right, well, we're gonna have to throw a bigger bait down. That's unfortunate, shoot. That could have been a decent grouper. Oh, that's so unfortunate. All right, let's see. We got a much bigger rod, so. Oh, we're on, we are on. Oh, we're on the rocks too. Oh, we got him out, we got him out. Did we? Dang, I don't think we did. Whatever it was, it was sitting with it. We had it out for a second and then Oh, man. Oh, we got him out, we got him out. He's out. <sighs> nice grouper. That's a pretty good grouper around here. Look at this guy. I believe this is a gag grouper, which is way too small. Oh my, look at him bleeding a little bit. Look at that, nice gag grouper for and sure, I mean, you can get really big ones, but I mean, as far as common, this guy's pretty good. I'll see you later, buddy. Get you going. He was not out of the water very long, so he should be good. He messed up our line, so we're gonna need to retie for sure. Man, if that was a small guy, oh, imagine getting a big one. I don't know if we could get a big one. <laughs> it's so fun to catch grouper. I mean, the, those were two casts back to back, the one we got broke off on and then the grouper. I'm assuming we're gonna get some good bites today. All right, let's use an entire one of these guys. I'm hoping that should give us a really good chance at any of the bigger grouper if there's any down there. I always like to start by cutting up the bait a little bit just to kind of test the waters, see what the bite's like. And if I get that hard hit, I know there's stuff in the area that's worth dropping a big bait down. So let's go line back up. Oh, I like that cast. Oh, we're gonna get a fat one right here. Counting down, bite in less than 10 seconds. Nine, eight, two. Come on, don't embarrass me. One. Oh, I'm embarrassed. Oh, we're on, we're on, we're on. Yep. Ah, jeez. Couldn't even stop that on the big rod. Oh, man. Oh, it is gonna be a good day out here. Holy smokes. Uh, dang, it just ripped that drag and popped me instantly. I'm gonna have to fish with lockdown drag. I don't think there's any other option. Turning the drag way up. Let's get a beast. Let's get a bridge beast right here. By the way, I don't know if I've said it or... All right, never mind. It's whatever they made this bridge out of that makes it so loud. I don't, I guess it's just like the grate that they drive over from the part where it lifts up, but it's so loud. But anyways, what I was saying was the fish or the bait we're using is uh, greenbacks, just frozen. I caught them, I don't know, maybe a month ago. They've been in the, chilling in the freezer. I've been waiting for it to get cold to come out to the bridge and I got another bag too. So we're gonna get multiple days to try this. Yep, 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 there we go. 
It's a little light, a little bit, a little bit lighter here. Is that a spot tail? That thing's massive. What the heck? <laughs> this guy's huge. Oh my gosh. All right. Jeez. Here we go, guys. Catch of the day number two, spot-tailed pinfish. Kind of a trash fish, but I mean, it's so cool when they're this big. See you later, buddy. Have a good day. Special occasion today. You guys are gonna get to see the bridge open. Every once in a while, you get those big boats that drive through. I don't know, maybe you won't see it. Maybe I'll catch a massive fish in the middle of it opening. Get out of the rocks, get out of the rocks. Ugh. Oh, I can feel it just rubbing up against rocks. Ugh. Did we get him up? I think we got him up. Oh my gosh. Oh, stay up, stay up. Don't let him go down. Oh yeah. Ooh, look at that grouper. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, that thing is fat. Oh my gosh. Oh, let's get out of the, oh my gosh. I'm, oh my gosh. <laughs> what an awesome catch from inshore. Oh, he's not even a Goliath either. Oh my gosh. That is a monster grouper for inshore. Look at this guy. He straightened out the hook too. We got really lucky on that. <sighs> Look at that grouper. He is so fat. <sighs> All right, let's get a quick measure on him. Look at this grouper. Holy smokes. Oh, you know what? He's not even 24. Oh, snap. All right, let's get him quickly measured. He's not even close to 24. He's like 22. Look at that though. Oh, that is a fat fish. Get him going. Get him some water. There he goes. Don't want to keep him out of the water too long. <laughs> That's so cool though. I'm not even upset that he wasn't 24. He was that shy. It was weird how round he was. Look at that. That is not what a hook is supposed to look like. Oh my gosh, look at our line too. Whew, that was a very close call. Sucks we didn't, man, I am a little upset he was only 22, because he was mad, he was heavier than any 24 I've caught. That guy had the weight of like a 26 inch grouper. Oh, we're on, we're on. Oh, get him out, ah, oh, I got broke. Dang. Ah, oh, that's so tragic. The way these grouper behave is they'll come up to the bait and they'll, inst the second they make contact with it and grab it, they will just dart back right into the rocks where they came from. They don't even show themselves for like a second almost sometimes. Oh, we're on. Doesn't feel too heavy. Just a big spot tail, yep. <laughs> That's what it is. This guy's bigger than the last one for sure, too. Oh, yeah. Oh. Whatever he just spit up went in my mouth. <laughs> Bro, relax. I got you. These guys are really cool looking for being a trash fish. They got those teeth, too. I don't know how easy they are to see. All right, you are making my deck slimy. You're allowed to go free now. Dang, unfortunate. I thought we had a better fish on. Oh well. Oh, did he fray us up? Man. We gotta retie. We on? Oh. Dang, it feels like another spot tail. Yep. Pretty sure he had me on the rocks too. All right, spot tail. See you later, buddy. Go that way, don't go back over there. All right, jigged around for a little bit. Didn't really get anything. So, we're gonna try our last pieces of bait and hope we can get something.
I wonder if there's any fish in there. I think all that's left to do is to check out the flats and see if there's anything cool there. Man, I still can't get over that fact that that grouper was two inches under. That thing was so fat. Like, they do not look like that normally. They look way more stretched out than that. I think if I had like 60 pound line and like hooks that were a little bit more durable, I think we would catch two or three of those in a day. But with what we got, I think we did pretty good with that one big one and the smaller one. It's just so hard. You have such a small window to catch them. But if you do, it's so rewarding. Runaway bobber. All right, well, we're running a little low on battery. Didn't even realize, so I gotta make this outro pretty quick. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I got the runaway bobber that I mentioned. <laughs> Look at that. I got my other camera as a backup. Um, it doesn't have a microphone on it, so if I run into anything cool, I'll show it off. But if not, I won't show it off. Hope you guys enjoyed, bye-bye.